know, I said early in the week, I felt like they were the best team that we've played in all three phases, and it certainly looked like that tonight. Uh, I stressed to our team about the ability to stop the run, which we didn't do as well as we needed to. We certainly didn't run it very well at all. We got whipped up front on offense. Uh, st get, staying on the field were 3 of 14 on third down and 12 of 16 uh, defensively, the two of the, the major emphasis going into the game. So it's d very disappointing with the outcome, but they uh, give those guys credit. They, they played well and uh, disappointed uh, for our fans. We had a great uh, outing there tonight and at Williams Bryce with our fan base, and I hate that, that, uh, that we didn't do a better job. But uh, we're going to get back to work. I told our guys uh, we were facing some adversity in these last two outings, and we gotta we got to turn it around. We look forward to traveling to Oxford to, to play Ole Miss, and we need to get it turned around. I'll open up for any questions. David with the first one. Well, uh, what was the thinking behind uh, trying to throw deep so much early and, and not uh, run the ball with Kevin Harris? Well, they were loading the box, and they were leaving us open. And obviously, you hit the post route early in the game. It's a total change the complexion of the game. Uh, the, another post that goes through Jalen's hands. We dropped two. One was for a touchdown. Uh, but they were loading the box. So we were going to take our shots deep. And that's what we did. We didn't hit them. And we had a hard time running it as they loaded the box when we got whipped up front. But, I mean, let's, we, we need to catch the ball. If we catch the ball, it's a different com complexion of the game, early in the ball game. Uh, ben Brenner. Hey, yeah, we can't hear you, Ben. A little better. Well, uh, after a performance like that, where do you kind of start when you're trying to turn a team around? Where did that begin? I'm so I can't hear you. Uh, we can't hear you, Ben. Okay. Let's go to Colin Taylor. Yeah, well, just coming off a of bye week, how concerning of a performance is that for you guys? And is there any kind of explanation you have as to why the team didn't play as better as they probably could have? Well, we got whipped up front on offense, and we, we can't sustain any drives. We can't stay on the field against a team that's a uh, ball possession, time possession, running football team. Same thing happened to us last year later in the game. Uh, the dagger was the, the, the touchdown before half. You got third and one, and uh, we got to get a stop right there. They, 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 they bust it. We don't make the play out of the middle of the field, and they go up 21 at half instead of you know a 14 or 17 point game so um, again disappointed with it we'll go back and look at it I do feel like this is the best team we've played all year we didn't we didn't match up to their physicality on either line of scrimmage and that's been the case the last two years with this group Josh Kendall Will there be any, any signs this week that worried you in terms of your preparation no, I felt like we had a good week and just didn't didn't translate to, to Saturday night. Eric Boynton. Yeah, well, your thoughts on uh, what was maybe happening with uh, Colin Hill out there tonight? Oh, obviously, he has since he joined you guys. Well, again, I think if we make some catches early in the game, that's a different different uh, complexion of the game, in my opinion. Uh, we had some huge ones down the field that we got to catch the ball. We missed a screen that was open. We had, had it blocked well. Uh, but he needs to be more accurate with the football, uh, you know, in, in some other situations. And we'll, we'll make that evaluation tomorrow as we go through the tape as a staff and, and as we continue to move forward. And whatever gives us the best, uh, you know, opportunity to win the game at whatever position it is, that's what we'll do. John Whittle. Well, you, you mentioned getting getting whipped up front on both lines of scrimmage, but you know, just overall, do you feel, do you feel like your guys played with a proper effort this game? Yeah, I absolutely do. No doubt about it. David, what, what did you see out there from them that that makes you feel uh, so so firmly in that? What's that? What what did you see out there from their play that makes you feel so firmly in that? I think it's a lack of effort, John. I think it's you know, physically at times we got outmatched up front. Uh, they were very big up front. We had a hard time moving them. We knew going into the game we needed to more, run more stretch and per perimeter plays. We didn't block well, very well at the receiver position on the perimeter. Uh, we didn't get some things going as well as we needed to get going. I mean, they're just in, in all efforts. But that has nothing to do with effort. Sometimes you get whipped physically as an athlete, and that happens. David. 
Will, do you expect Dark Day and Shiloh to be back next week? Yeah. Josh Kendall? In terms of them defensively, did you expect them to stack the box and to have those shots, or did you feel like you'd have more of an opportunity to run into some looks that you felt like you had a shot at? No, we felt like early in the game that we had to take some shots to get them off of us, but you got to hit the shots. We didn't hit them. Ben? Uh, hey, can you hear me? Uh, I wanted to ask, uh, what did you try? What did you try to look for? What did you try to get out of those snaps from running the loop? Yeah, we still can't get you, Ben. For whatever reason, you just get some. Just ask somebody else to ask the question. We'll go to Joe Gorchow. Coach, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, um, you mentioned Colin Helen evaluating maybe potentially the quarterback position. Is that something you're really going to consider this week just based on the performance and try to energize and maybe incorporate maybe a two quarterback system like we saw at times with Luke Doty? Is everything on the table this week? Yeah, we got to do what it takes to win games. We did, we were not productive enough offensively, obviously. So we've got to, we got to look at what we're doing and who's doing it and, uh, and get better. Josh Kendall. In terms of the, the decision to switch in, there in the fourth quarter with Ryan, it was very limited action, obviously. Oh, he stopped. I couldn't hear everything he said. Yeah, if, if, if you're not talking, please, please mute. Yeah, you know, mute yourself if you're not already now? muted. Yes. Go ahead, Josh. In terms of the decision to make the change at quarterback, how long, at what point did you and Mike start talking about that tonight? And what did you think you got out of Ryan and what was obviously very limited? Ryan did action? a good job. We, we, I mean, we didn't get off the field on defense. So uh, at the end of the day, we wish we wish he'd had more turns and possessions. But we had those discussions throughout the game uh, to, get, to spark some things on offense. Felt like Luke came in and did some good things with some things that we're doing with him. And that'll, That'll continue to, uh, you know, increase if it's going to help us win ball games, and that's going to be a week-to-week -week process. Go to Hale. Will, can you hear me? What's your message to the fan base? Some of them may be a little. Good. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I hope they're pissed off, and, and that's fine. And in the last two performances, I don't think there's any doubt they should be disappointed with how we played and performed and how we coached. Uh, we're going to continue to work, and, and we've had success here. Uh, you know, our first three years as a tenure, we had more, one more games than any other coach did in here, and, and we plan on continuing to have success here. And uh, I think we've recruited well. I think we've got good players in our program. I'm disappointed with our last two outings. Let's go to Eric Boynton. Yeah, Will, Jalen Brooks, I know how high you guys were on him during the uh, preseason. He hasn't been able to get himself involved these first two games. Is it just a matter of him kind of getting used to things and getting used to play? Or have you just, you know, what is kind of the deal with him? Oh, I think he's got to catch the football. I mean, I, you know, I don't know what else to say. He's got opportunities. And, uh, you know, we took some shots uh, in the last ball game as well. He got a pass interference down the field. Uh, but we'll, we'll continue. I still got a lot of faith in Jalen. Jalen's a good football player. He's going to be fine. Colin Taylor. Yeah, well, just how concerning have these last two outings in terms of just offensive production been? How concerning is that for you? And what can you guys do to improve that? And, and against LSU, we averaged eight yards of play offensively. So that was very – if we can do that and finish drives, we missed three field goals in that game. That's why I sent Parker out at the end. There's, we don't have a 41-point play in our playbook. So we needed to get some confidence for him to go hit a field goal. He hit the one that he missed early in the, in the second quarter. And uh, didn't and felt like he just pulled it a little bit, but he hit it well, and that's you know that was something we needed to have. But we needed him to get some confidence going into our next ball game uh, in that situation. But offensively, we didn't finish some drives in Baton Rouge, but you average eight yards of play, you ought to have some success. That, that wasn't that wasn't the offense's issue tonight. Obviously, we didn't have the production we needed to win the game, to stay on the field, to keep our defense off the field. It's a team game, and we didn't play that well, well tonight, that way tonight. <laughs> Josh Kendall. Will, you talked about getting back to work and starting to fix things. Where do you start after the last two weeks? 
I mean, you know, again, you try and be technical in your approach of what you did. I think, again, offensively in the LSU game, with well, you can't throw an interception for a touchdown, all right? But when you average eight yards a play, you're having some success doing something. Uh, we need to be more efficient throwing the football. We've been really good running the ball until tonight. And we got to go back, and obviously I think that they're pretty good up front. They got after us. We had a hard time blocking their front and getting a hat on a hat in the run game. Um, and then we got to continue to, to explore on some things defensively. We wore out defensively, just like last year. We played 41 snaps in the first half. And I knew that the second half was going to be tough sledding from a standpoint of the fatigue that goes through when you play uh, you know, against Jimbo and how he's going to orchestrate the offense. And I knew that that was going to be an issue in the second half. So we have to get off the field on third down. We were 12 of 16, or they were 12 of 16. We don't stay on the field on, on offense, 3 of 14. So it's one of the critical factors knowing going into the game we didn't we we didn't get it done, and we've got to get those done. John Whittle. Hey, do, you, do you feel like there's some answers on this team going forward? What gives you a little bit of optimism going into the, the last month of the season? Well, I've seen some flashes, uh, you know, with our football team. Uh, not as much uh, defensively in the last two weeks. I'll do. I think we we did improve from our last ball game as far as in the run game with some things that we did. It got sloppy late, which is disappointing. Uh, but again, I think that there's been some flashes here. We, but John, we just got to be more consistent in what we do. We got we have to we have to have more consistency in what we do. We need to be more efficient throwing the ball. And until tonight, we have run the ball well in most games in situations where we've needed to run the ball. Uh, and, and again, I think that we've got to continue to explore the things we need to do, uh, throwing the football to be more efficient throwing the ball. But again, you, you drop a post in the first drive of the game for a touchdown, that does change the complexion of things on a team that needs some confidence, and that would have provided a lot. Another second drive, another opportunity down the field, it's going to be a 30 or 40 yard gain. Uh, so, so again, those are things we've got to continue to, we've got to hit on those plays and we haven't hit those plays. Last question goes to Colin Taylor. Yeah, we well, talked about the team needing so this team needing some confidence. Can you manufacture that, or how does that kind of have to happen? Does it have to happen naturally for you guys? You it in practice to, to to create confidence to give yourself an opportunity on game day, and you got to do it on game day against good people, and they got a good team. Like I've said before, I said starting out, I told Jimbo when the game was over, I thought it was the best team we've played this year, just in all three phases. I mean, we've played some other parts of teams that have been better, yeah, but I'm talking about in all three phases, uh, they got a really good team. All right, thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.